Before I go. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. All right, Rach. Senior dog's body reporting for duty again. Oh, sorry, that's my job. You're still junior dog's body. You'll have to work your way up. That's fine by me, so long as you don't have to clean the bogs out. <laughs> Jackie said you were in today. Yeah, well, she's changed the vultures and give me the right to work with this lot. It's man's work, you see. Oh, so I come she asked you then? It's not like you to be funny, Rach. Never thought I'd see you back working here. Yeah, well, me and Sean's didn't quite hit it off. I mean, don't get me wrong, I was good at it. In fact, I was very good. Yeah, of course. It just all takes too long. Well, this is a backward step, though. Well, not necessarily. I mean, when our Jackie opens the Millennium Club, she might need duty managers. That's when I might come in. Mm, you say never go back, but I suppose some things are worth second go. Oh, I Like what? Well, wouldn't you like to know? Come on, Junior Dog's body, back to work. And make sure you use all the source notes to explore the question thoroughly. The info's there, all you've got to do is look for it. Thank you, Morgan. I haven't sent me tiraj yet. Right, I want this in by next Tuesday, and no excuses. So, if the dog chews your own word, cook, make sure it's English or maths this time, will you? What's up? Haven't you got homes to go to? Susan, aren't me and Jimmy the Fourth enough for you? Sorry. Getting to be a bit regular, this, isn't it, eh? You giving it zeds at the back while I'm busy doing my stuff up there. Look, why don't you treat yourself to an early night once in a while? It's none of your business, right? You want some out of this dump. Fair enough, yeah, but, uh, well, you want to be careful. Otherwise, you're going to be missing out on all sorts of stuff you'll need for your GCSEs. So, who gives the task? Well, me, for starters. <laughs> nice jacket there. Bit pricey, I bet. Uh, yeah. Look, Susan, just think about what I said, eh? You're a bright kid, you know. I'd hate to see you blow it for the sake of a few late nights. Mum and Dad got off all right, eh? Should be in Wales by now. Give us Anne to get this place sorted for the party, Jase. All right. But if the house gets trashed, it's got nothing to do with me. The students, you know, not the sort of losers you hang around with. Oh, and what's that? Fellas, you work for a living, you mean? Anyway, we could get one of Mr. Dixon's grannies in to do a tidy up if we need to. Gonna pay for that out your student loan, eh? Out of the shopping money Mum's left us. Nice one, man. 50-50. Yeah. What's this? Water the plants. Don't Emily to nine o'clock Saturday. She's the lover. I won't even be back by then. All right, she's stopping over a chance. Anyway, where are you going? Out with Katie. And before you start, it's my business to receive, right? Well, at least I won't have to pay to use in my face while you're doing the dirty on Katrina. Oh, I've got it in one. Because if my luck's in, I'll be spending the night in a very nice little flat, not a million miles from here. You're going to be a real swine, you. Hello? Oh, are you train? I haven't seen you for ages, how are you? Jason, what do you want to speak to that pig for? Well, you must be soft then, I'm going to say. Uh, sorry, Trin, you just missed him. In, into town with Robbie, I think. No, it's not. Why don't you come round here? My mum and dad are away for the weekend. I'm having some of mates over from uni. Oh, come on, it'll be a laugh. Oh, all right, then. I'll see you sometime next week, then, eh? All right, bye. All right, mate. I thought you'd be an hiding after the battle and you took off that poorly month the other day. Only well, thought wrong, didn't you? Oh, come on, Mick, where's your sense of humour? I'm not going to waste my breath answering that. Well, you see the funny side of it. Why don't you do anything, Mick, before you get a battle and all? You all right, Mick? Yeah, fine. You busy in there, or what? Give us half an hour, eh, Jack, and I'll be rushed off my feet. Well, I'd go with me early if I was you. Well, the wrestling's on the telly tonight. Might be a ladies' tag match scheduled if you're lucky. Oh, poor Mickey, he's never gonna live this one down, is he? Well, it serves him right, the greedy get. 
Oh, yeah, and when did your halo arrive? Since I've seen that Angie one turn up in a cycling gear. <sighs> Good to know some things never change, Angie, eh? Well, I don't know about that. I haven't seen you smile like this in ages. Yeah, well, that's all behind me now. So you're definitely feeling better after the pregnancy, then? Yeah, I am, Mike. All I want to do now is forget about the past and concentrate on the future. So, um, does your favourite big brother figure in these plans of the future, then? Yeah, of course he does. There'll always be room for the nice pop boy on my payroll. Hi, oh, yeah. Uh, what are you doing here? Well, come see me fella and check where salon for tonight. Yeah, of course we are. I was just on my way around the shops for our Nicky before I saw myself out there. What's up? Don't you want me coming round you in case you're entertaining Katrina? It's going to be soft. I'm the only woman on my mind right now. So, uh, how would you fancy a quiet night in now, George? I'm sure you won't get bored. No chance. I've been thinking about it all day. Just the two of us, alone. In the flat. It sounds great. Well, I'm meeting in Barbara here about nine. We'll have a couple of drinks first. I reckon just the one will do. Can I make sure I've got a bottle of wine ready and a couple of videos? You can track the videos. I'm the only entertainment you'll need tonight. Is that a promise? Hmm. Definitely. Yeah, you just save your strength for later. Because I'll hold you to that. Ollie? Oh, sorry, I thought you were Ollie. He's having a lie down. Oh, great. Well, I suppose I'd better get on with supper. Well, don't do anything for me. I'm going home. My train leaves in a couple of hours. <gasps> weekend at Tom and Jen will do you good. It's not just for the weekend. I'm going home for good. But you can't! I mean, what about college and everything? Well, I've arranged for a transfer to a university down there. I start my course next week. Without even discussing it with me? Why, Louise? Because I can't stay here after everything that's happened. Marcus dying, that awful inquest. But it's over now. We can put it all behind us and make a fresh start. I can't. Not here. It's not going to work. I've got to get away. I'm sorry. How's it going, Junior? Sound feels like I've never been away from the place. Good, because I'm dead glad Jackie gave you your job back. Oh, and why is that then? Because we're mates, aren't we? We're over dead good laugh together. Yeah, I've missed you as well, you know, Rach. So, I already fancy coming to Nicky Shadwick's party after we finished. Her mum and dad are away and she had loads of friends back from uni. Yeah, it sounds good. I haven't had a decent night out in ages. Now that my mates have decided to do the old pipe and slipper routine. Mm, same here, you know, Katie's with Jason. Talk about boring. So, erm, um, don't you fancy getting into a steady relationship again? Mm, I'm not sure I'm ready for that. I guess I haven't found anyone who's worth taking that sort of risk with yet. Well, maybe you're not looking hard enough. Yeah, I don't know. I've given one or two fellas a bit of a trial run. You got anyone lined up for tonight? No chance. I'm not committing myself till I see what's on offer. Oh, it looks like we're both up for grabs then, doesn't it? Yeah, so let's hope we both get lucky, eh? Hi, hi, mate. Come out of hiding now, your ex has hung scissors up for the day. Just give her a rest for you, Jimmy. I heard Pauline made a holy show of you in front of everyone the other day. Harlinger was telling me she gave you a right battering. <laughs> Look, it's all been boxed off now, so just leave it in. Oh, fair dues. I mean, I can understand you and the daughter, but uh, well, what was in her head? Mind you, who knows what goes on inside any kid's head? I mean, I've got this girl, Susan Clark, she's in my year three group in school. Right? I mean, she's a bright kid, great potential. The only thing is, she can't get halfway through one of my lessons without nodding off. Now, you see, Mick, that is a classic case, and the poor kid is not getting the decent input from the right quarters. Sounds like you're right there, Jimmy. I'd sort it sharpish if I was you, before you bore the poor girl into a coma. Oh, thanks, Jason. There's loads of stuff, ain't it? Yeah, so there should be. It cost me enough. I reckon I'm going to shop. It's about. I'm worth it, though, aren't I, bro? <sighs> anyway, I don't know what you're doing this for a bunch of scrounging students, for. You must be even softer than I am. Cos they're my mates. And anyway, you'll be tucked up safe and sound with that Katie one. It's not to do with you what I get up to. Yeah, except that my mum and dad will blame me if there's any bother from these so-called mates of yours. It isn't going to be any bother, is there? All we're going to do is have a few bevies and a bit of a bop. I hope so, Nick. Cos you know what they like around here? They'll be sitting there checking at the curtains the minute the first CD goes in the stereo. 
Oh, whose side are you on, eh? You already had the big parental lecture off the pair of them before they got off to Wales. Yeah, well, fair enough. Just don't come running to me for any mop-up jobs if anything gets smashed or broken, cos I'll be otherwise engaged. Don't worry, you won't. But when you get back from your little love nest tomorrow, you won't even know I've had a party, so... Come on. Why don't you go and get ready for your big notes and leave me to get ready for mine? And now he's bringing in a daughter to organise his frame and nerve centre. You reckon she's some sort of whiz kid with business systems? Ah, oh, she sounds like my sort of girl. Yeah, well, I think Dad's only set this anti one up because he fancies his chances with her. Probably going to do a Mick Tiana with a daughter as well. Oh, shut up, mate. Your dad's not soft. He's really into this granny agency thing. He needs someone he can trust to run the place when he's not there. Yeah, well, what's wrong with trusting his own son for a change? <sighs> you don't really want me to answer that, do you? Jackie, I'm serious. I could do a really good job if you gave me half a chance. Like I didn't hear you mean. Yeah, all right, but I'm sorting myself out now, aren't I? I mean, I just wish you and me dad had realised that I've got skills to offer too. I just need a chance to prove it. Right, well, when you finish there, you can demonstrate your expertise in the health and hygiene department. Supervising the kitchen staff? No, the chance lose, actually. One of the sinks is blocked and the soup dispenser's knee fell on. You are you, Rach? Yeah, just thinking about holiday, wishing I was still stretched out on that beach. Oh, yeah, snug on the face off that Ricky. <laughs> it was gorgeous, weren't it? <laughs> I've had a decent night since we got back. Oh, yeah. Case must have read your mind. You up for time when I finish? Oh, sorry, Rach. I'm meeting Jason. I'm on for tomorrow night if you fancy. Yeah, great. Give you a chance to show me tan off. <laughs> you gonna come with us, Jack? Uh, no, I've got loads of weight to catch up on in here. You're not still brooding about the baby, are you? No. Not now that I've seen him. You were right, Casey. It was the best thing that I could have done. I mean, he is gorgeous and all that. But but it doesn't feel like he's anything to do with me. So you don't regret handing him over to the Farnhams? No way. As far as I'm concerned, they're his mum and dad, and I'm happy just being some sort of secret big sister. So you can stop worrying about me and get on with your own life for a change. Great, because that's exactly what I intend to do. I hope you don't mind, but I've changed my mind. Oh, don't be soft. I'm amazed of thinking of you. I couldn't stand another minute of my dad ranting on about John Prescott and his so-called vendetta against car salesmen in the North West. <laughs> so you thought you'd come here for a bit of peace and quiet, then? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Are you sure the others would mind me coming? Why on earth should they? Well, you know what I mean, being some dead brain student like them. How safe are oh, they? are a really nice bunch, you know? <laughs> they're a bit mad, but they're cool, with it. They're all doing the same course as you? Uh, a couple of them are doing LLT and all. <laughs> oh, sorry, life literature and thoughts. But I'm thinking of swapping what you wasn't joining all this lot. All night, Tom. <laughs> what are they all doing? Dedicating their lives to seeking the ultimate reality. <laughs> Philosophies of the uninitiated. <laughs> oh, come on, I'll introduce you to everyone, and I bet you're going to be really glad that you came. <laughs> um, all right, so I said to you, I promise I'll do one as soon as he comes back. You better that. You're really into him, aren't you? He's gorgeous, isn't he? I haven't fancied anyone this much in ages. And you don't mind I'm still seeing that Katrina? Well, it won't be for much longer. It's given to the elbow tomorrow night. Oh, and then it's full steam ahead for the two of you, eh? Two rice. We've got a lot of celibate ones to catch up on. <laughs> Looks like you're not the only one making up for last time. I oh, know. She's really come out of a shell since she had that fling with Bruno. About time and all, that Christian lady screws her as up. Do you fancy a drink, Jackie? Um, no. It's all right. I don't really fancy playing gooseberry. Are you sure? It's not a grudge. Me and Katie have got all night. Um, is it all right if I get off, Jack? I've been invited to a party. Goodbye. Oh, be one of that lot. Oh, he's dead sweet, isn't he? I want to go home and get changed first, though. Go on, then. Go and enjoy yourself, and I'll cover the bar for the next five minutes till Kirsty gets in. Thanks, Jack. I'll see you over there later, OK? And Mike's going to come as well. Where? Honey, he told you. Then Nicky's having a party. And half of JMU's are going to be there by the sounds of it. See you later. Why didn't you say anything about this party? I didn't think you'd fancy spending the night with a load of wets. Not when you've got me all to yourself. Yeah, but like you said, we've got all night. Can't go to yours for a bit first. <sighs> Do we have to? Oh, come on, Jason, it'll be a laugh. <sighs> all right, then. But only for a couple of drinks. At the most. And then I'm all yours. I promise. Oh, 
So you managed to get out of bed then? Yeah, yeah, I had a bit of a headache. I'm really not interested in your ailments anymore. <sighs> I just had a couple of glasses of wine, that's all. You go right ahead and press that self-destruct button if you want to, but there's no way you're going to ruin my life any more than you already have. So, what happened to the we're in this together line? When did this whole sordid mess just become my fault? When I kissed goodbye to my daughter and waved her off on the train just now, that's when, Ollie. She's gone back to Tom and Jones and she's not coming back, okay? Is that good enough for you? <laughs> so you're having a good time or what? Yeah, they're all right, really. So I noticed this one in the corner with Mac Casino. Oh, Wayne must spend ages talking to him about his fascination for young. Yeah, he's really into all that psychology stuff. Well, I wish you'd tell me because we only came to blows because I wouldn't have it. That poor young was born in Switzerland. There's <laughs> <laughs> a drink, really. I'm desperate for the loop. <laughs> I'll take Annika the rest of the weekend to clear up after this lot. Yeah, you should be well out of it. All right. And where am I going to be? Tucked up with me if you're lucky. Oh, I'm lucky, all right. <laughs> well, I think I'd better cool you down with the drink. I'm, uh, I'm just going to check my bedroom and make sure it's still in one piece. Come with me if you like. Uh, no, Tom. Save yourself. What for? Later. <laughs> Jason, are you, babe? <laughs> for your own time, I've me. Eh, uh, no, he's gone on. <laughs> Yeah, they're a bit of good rot. Used to be in a dodgy curry or something. So you're pleased to see me then? <laughs> yeah, I made them. Me too. I thought I was going to be spending the night all on my own or something. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? <laughs> um, I came with your Jason. Oh, God, she's going to go away. <laughs> Who is? And I'll flame and kill him if there's any trouble. Are you soft or what? I'm not being with you. Um, I'm gone in a minute. Are you said good thing I was stopping in. Oh, I get it. Competition's turned up. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry, Katie. I'm never more honest. Have any what, babes? Yeah, uh, better than Katie's drink. Um, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. This was a really good night. You've been intent on destroying yourself and everything that we have ever since the accident. And now you've finally succeeded in driving my daughter away. Have you finished? No, I haven't. Can't you see that I feel as bad as you do about what happened to Marcus? Oh, really? And when exactly does this wave of emotion wash over you? Is it as you're choosing an outfit for work every day, or when you're styling your hair, or putting on your makeup? Or maybe it's when you're playing the cool, calculated professional that this excess of feeling twists in your gut till you feel you're about to spew the whole sordid business out of your system. You listen to yourself. You don't have a monopoly on feelings, Ollie. I know what happened on that cliff top, but I also know what happened between me and Marcus. Oh, yes. We all know what the pair of you got up to behind my back. No, you don't. You don't know anything about what that man did to me or how he made me feel. Oh, spare me the sordid details. I'm not really interested. There was no real love there, Ollie. No caring or tenderness. All Marcus wanted was revenge, to destroy any chance of happiness I had with you. Do you get it? Have you any idea how that makes me feel? Used, dirty, like I've been abused in some sort of way, and all you can do is stand there wallowing in your own self-pity. You're pathetic, and I'm sick of wasting my energy trying to get through to you. Well, I'll save you the bother. Oh, that's it. Just walk away from me. Blot it all out with another drink like you always do. As you've already said, Eleanor, I'm pathetic. <sighs> And who's pathetic now? Excuse me. Could you turn the music down just a little bit? Yeah. Get him, sorry. Thank you. So how come that Katie Rogers had turned up the same time as you, then? Well, she was in the bar, and that lot invited Mike and Rachel to go. She just short to tag along. So you ran in town with Robbie, like you said? Well, earlier on, yeah, but I went down the bar after the team. And I suppose that one was all over your own, mate, was she? She's just a mate. Then why does she keep staring at you all the time? 
she really is going to have to go, Rach. <laughs> oh, poor Jace. He's made a right messy for Snet out together. No, I don't know. He's doing all right to me. Do you reckon, eh? Why don't you go over there and get a grip of that cartoon instead of standing here drooling over there? Who's that for? Because we're supposed to be mates, and your new boss just happens to be my bestie. <laughs> <laughs> is this war or what? Yep. And that one can just go and whistle, because tonight he's coming home with me. <laughs> How are you, Katie? Find yourself another fella. Why should I when I like the one I've got? But you haven't got him, she has. Yeah, not for much longer. He's got a silver wedding at Grant's. He could be there till all hours. OK, look, you can't be doing with this. I'll have a word. Oh, thanks. thanks. Hello? Excuse me. Hi, hi, give us... All right, Mick, what are you doing here? Could I ask you the same thing? All right, Mr Johnson. No, I'm not. Susanna Farnham's near demented over there. Been walking the streets trying to get their hurry up since all this all started. I'm really sorry. The poor woman's pregnant and all, you know. She's not going to get much kick issue with all this rubbish blasting out all over the place. And she's not the only one. I don't want to be listening to this all night. We'll keep it down, Mr Johnson. I promise. OK, I'll hold you to that. Look, I don't want to stop your fun, but just, you know... I'm not stupid, Jason! I've told you, she's just a mate. Oh. Are you deaf or what? And I'm not blind either. I've seen the pagans eyeballing each other all night. Oh, for God's sake, Celine, leave it! Now, you've been on my flame and back ever since I got here. And this is meant to be a party. I'm not the usual suspects! Well, if I start here, the new music, cos I know we've chased us. Something's going on. Right, that's it. I'm finished with you, yes. Oh, yes, you will. Take your hands off. Jason! I'm sorry. Are you OK? You idiot! Now what's my mum and dad going to say? Oh dear, Mum and Dad will be back when Brookside starts its new Tuesday time of 8 o'clock. Next in Friends, Chandler's the one falling apart and Ross is falling in love. Hi. Um, I haven't disturbed you, have I? Uh, no, no, I was, uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. I was just having a nap. All right. Well, look, I, I won't keep you. It's just that I wondered if, um, if I could borrow a pair of secretaires. These are a bit blunt. Well, um, gardening is, is usually Eleanor's department, but I'm sure we've got a pair somewhere. Have a look around if you like. I'll tell you what, forget it. I I'll use these. Sure. Yeah, sir. Um, I haven't got much to do. Just uh, a few rose bushes. That's all. You, uh, you get some rest. Um, you don't look at all well. Is everything okay? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just not feeling too well. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. Look, I'm sorry to bother you. Anyway. No problem. Bye.
Come on, Macker. Look, you still owe me for that load of Oroko I chosen for you. Excellent. Look, I'm gonna need the pronto. Two hours. Nah, that laugh to do. That's right, I'll be well out. Yeah, number six, Brookside Close, Manor Park. And hey, be as quick as you can, it's an emergency. Have you got someone? Yeah, to be out in a couple of hours. Two hours, me mum and dad might be back by then. Well, they were the only ones got get to come out. God, Jason. Don't know God, Jason, me. This is all Katrina's fault. You what? You were the one who was two timing with Casey Rogers. Yeah, but there's still no need to push me through the window. I thought you said the door track was busted or something. Well, yeah, but she was the one that pushed me. Well, she wouldn't have pushed you if you weren't such a rat, would she? Well, look, all right. Just save the speeches until after we've got this sorted. My dad'll be back soon. Got to know. Jason, what are we going to do? Hey, come on, Jimmy. You give her the tip here, what? OK, yeah, thanks. Yeah, two on. minutes, just want to finish Bye -bye. this. Hey, guess what? Look. Susanna's going to organise our grants for the reception. Since when? Since now I've just spoken to her. Oh, that's great to hear that, Jimmy. You are? We're having grants for the reception. Oh, right, great. It's very nice. Hey, I, I, I haven't finished. Oh, yes, you have. Now, listen, get to that chippy or else none of us will be eating tonight. All right, all right. Do you want them? Oh, no, I'm sick of the sight of chips. I'm working later anyway. Right, back in ten minutes. Jimmy, while you're out, nip to the chemist for me and get some nappies. You what? I've got all that to do. Yeah, well, enough for me. The for our wills. Now, get on with us. See you in a minute. See ya. Oh, made up all the reception sorted now. Starting to worry a bit. I mean, it's only a month away. Is that all? You haven't even got your dress yet. Who said I'm wearing a dress? What? Mum, have you seen the prices of wedding dresses? I'll just get a suit in town, that'll do me. I mean, it is only a registry office. Oh, no, love. But I mean, are you sure it's your big day? You want to make it special? I know, but I... But what? Well, a year ago, I probably would have wanted a, a nice dress, a big flash wedding. But now I'm just happy to have Peter and Kylie. And if you and my dad and Wills are there, that'll do for me. Well, are you sure that's what you want, love? Yeah. It's not a question of what you want, is it? It's what you can afford. Settling for what you've got. Hello? Come back, there's no one around. All right, Jason, I'm not sure about this. Yeah, well, we've got no option, have we? But if Mick finds out, he'll kill us. And if my mum and dad find out. Yeah, I suppose so. Yes! What? Perfect. Standard sizes. Look, you can keep a look out, eh? the top. I'm gone. Oh, this is mad, this. Yeah, not half as mad as Mum and Dad'll be if we don't get this into ours. Now, get a move on. Move! All right, Leo. Hiya. All right, Leo. Sound that we're going to be working together, eh? Oh, yeah, can't wait. What? Hey. Don't want to wait. Come on, you. What's up with you, you mean? Lunatic. You, outside. Why? What have I done? You've done nothing, but I just want you to go outside for a minute while I have a word with Leo. Are you all right? I will be if I don't have to work with him. Yeah, all right. I know you haven't been seeing eye to eye lately. Well, too right. He tried to knock me down. Well, actually, he tried to knock me down. Oh, so that makes it all right then, does it? No, of course it doesn't. But if I can give him a second chance, surely you can. He didn't mean anything by it, you know. He's still loony. Yeah, I know, but he's trying and he's getting better. So come here, eh? I've hidden the frame behind the garage for now. Oh, nice one, I'll sort it later. We'll hurry up. Look, I'm going as fast as I can. Is that their car? 
It is, it's them. I've finished. Quick, get everything away. Just play along. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Good weekend. Yeah, it was lovely. Where's our Emily? Still at a mate, she'll be back after them. Oh, nice to be home, innit, love? Yeah, home sweet home. Eh? <laughs> Can't beat it, can you? <laughs> no, not when it's as neat and tidy as this. The place is spotless. What's up? <sighs> Oh, it's just something up with the running gear, like, so I whiffed it in and out and... That's funny. What is? I don't remember that mark being there. Oh, it's been there for ages, that. And this could have fallen out at any time, on top of our Emily. You what? Why didn't you spot that? I mean, our Emily. Oh, me nan. Hey, no one had spotted that. And you're supposed to be such a great builder. <sighs> so, nice to be back, is it? Oh, I, yeah. I'll be glad to get back out to work. Everyone for tea? Uh, can I come in now? Yeah, come on. Well, listen, you two. I want you to wipe the slate clean and shake on it, all right? It's an accident, you know? Yeah, all right. There you go. Now maybe we can get some work done. Go on. You, finish off throwing the chips in the fryer and I'll get the fish. Ah, watch it. Sorry, mate. It was an accident. Did you really enjoy yourself in Wales? Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> no kids, just the two of us on our own. <laughs> hey, well, we're on our own now, so... Maybe we could play Monica and Bill again. Oh, uh, yeah, we're bound to get collared and all. One of the kids will come running in. <laughs> yeah, true. Well, they're not bad, our kids, are they? I mean, I really miss them on the sly. Yeah, me too. This place is looking suspiciously tidy. Yeah, well, they probably put themselves out tidy enough because they knew we were coming back. Anyway, means I don't have to do it. Get all my stuff ready for tomorrow. Oh, here we go. You're back five minutes and already work's taking over again. How do you start? Well, what do you expect? It was a relief just to get away from your mobile. <sighs> Look, I know I've been working long hours, and I don't seem to spend much time with you and the kids, but I promise from now on I'll try my best. You always say that? Yeah, but I mean it this time. Look, you know how important my job is, but I swear I'm going to put you and the kids first. Does that include the paperwork that's been left to pile up? Look, I'm going to get a cop on with you if you don't stop picking on me. All right, I'm sorry. Let's call a truce. OK. Oh, you know I only go on about your work because I miss you not being around. Yeah, to do your paperwork. Oh, you know what I mean. Let's just make sure that we spend more time together from now on, eh? OK. Hi. All right, Max. Keeping busy? Oh, not too bad. How about you? Gardening duty. All oh, right. Well, I won't keep you then. <laughs> um, Mick, um, before you go, I just wanted to thank you. What for? Oh, for keeping Nicky Shadwick's party quiet the other night. Oh, well, it's not. That was no big deal. Well, according to Susanna, you were quite a hero. Nah, they're just getting the boys to sleep, you know. I don't know. Well, I can assure you, it's no laughing matter if you've got a baby that doesn't sleep. Yeah, I know. So, how is the baby? Great. When he's asleep. Yeah, when you eat his up and run about the place, they'll all have been with us. <laughs> yeah, sure. Anyway, say hello to Susanna for me. I will. And uh, thanks again. We really appreciate it. Yeah, cheers, Max. Don't tell me. I've got a job as a part-time wine taster. Look, I'm not in the mood for sarcasm or lectures before you start. No, it couldn't be that. They spit the wine out, don't they? It's something you'd never do. I thought you were staying with your mother for a few more days. I was, but I thought I'd come back here to see if you were OK. I'm just fine on my own. And that's something I'm going to have to get used to. What do you mean? Eleanor has very kindly left me a dear John note. Or in this case... A dear Ollie. What? She's left you? Was she serious? Oh, she's serious, all right. She's packed her bags and gone. 
left me sleeping while she sneaked off to God knows where. What about Louise? Oh, she was the first one to go. No doubt you'll be the next. You'd like that, wouldn't you? So you can stay here and drink yourself to death. Sounds quite appealing. Have you got no self-respect left? Does it not bother you that you've become the local laughingstock? <sighs> Why should I worry about what the half-wits and low-life on Brookside Close think? None of them have got any right to look down on me. What about me? Do you not care what I think? Do you not realise what it's like being your son? I told you. You can just leave me to get on with it as well. But I don't want to! I want to stay here and make sure you don't drink anymore. I'll stop drinking when I'm good and ready. I'm going to find all the other ones you've got, and I'm going to get rid of them too. That's the last drink you're ever going to have, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure of it. Someone nicked one of your patio doors. Yeah, can you believe it? That's one of the things you learn in our game. If it isn't nailed down, it'll work. Yeah, but a patio door? Yeah, everything's got a value. How do you think them scrap yards went from being step toes to architectural salvage consultants? Mm. I mean, we used to drop sledgehammers through them old cast iron bats to get them out in bits. Now, they're worth a fortune. Hmm. It's weird, though, isn't it? When the police were just lying there open, they could have got in and taken anything. I saw there was nothing else missing. From what I could see. It's very strange. Mm. I'm going to pick Gemma up. Hope it'll be all right till I get back. So anyway, uh, can you do something with it? I don't think I'm going to be able to get you a new door this time of the day. I mean, I can patch it up for now. Oh, well, as long as it's a secure one, I'm working in the chippy tonight. I'll sort it when I get back. It'll cost you the free fish, though. Hey, I'll even throw in a bag of chips. Thought you were supposed to be a runner. I am. Yeah, what are you doing eating chips, then? Just come for my mates in the morning. Aren't you on a special diet? Yeah, but well, just stick a bit. Mum and Dad and the coach going on about it all the time. All right, kids. All right, Jim. All right, Jimmy, kidder. Messing your lip, you. Bit of respect for your elders. Hi, Mr. Corkill. Hi, Emily. It's more like it, isn't it? What can I get you? Uh, fish and chips twice, please, kid. I'll get it. Are you behaving himself? Yeah, of course I am. Butter wouldn't melt. Listen, you, seeing as you're doing so well, I'm going to leave you on your own for ten minutes. I've got a letter back in the house. I forgot to post it all night. So no messing while I'm away. As if. Hey, don't you be letting Simbad down, you. Ten minutes. See you later, Jim. Yeah, see you, Ken. Something vinegar? Please, yeah. Hey, listen, um, either of you two lads remember a girl called Susan Clark from school? She'd probably be about two years below you. No, never heard of her. I know Susan Clark. Oh, right, well, yeah, she's in your year, isn't she? Open or wrapped? Uh, wrapped, please. Yeah, that's the right money. Is she a mate of yours? Nah, she's off her head. How do you mean, mate? She's just weird. She's got no mates. Why are you asking? Oh, nothing. Just, um, curious. She's in my history class, you know. Anyway, right, better get off for me tea. I'll see you later. See ya. Hey, who's Susan Clark? Oh, she's just some girl from school. She's a right weirdo. I'll see you later. Who threw that? Uh, it was him. Right, well, that's the way you want to play it. There you go. It's yours. Hey, thanks for getting here so quick and, uh... Couldn't give us an hand getting around the back, would you? Yeah, sure, mate. Not nice one. There you go. Hey, eat this soup. It'll make you feel better. Believe me, son. I know exactly what'll make me feel better. Yeah, well, from now on, the drinking's over. I'm sorry, I... I really can't eat this. You've got to. When was the last time you ate? That is Eleanor's pathetic attempt to salve her conscience by giving me some money. For services rendered, no doubt. Are you going to accept it? Well, I don't see why she should walk out without paying her way. Besides, pathetic as it may seem, I'll probably need it. Maybe I've sunk so low that my total lack of self-respect means that I'll happily accept it. So you really think that's it between you two? There's no going back now. Too much has happened. I wish I'd never met her in the first place. You wouldn't be in this state now. It's her who's driven you to it. Yeah. Well, much as I'd like to put all the blame on Eleanor, I have to take some responsibility for the way things have turned out. Oh, 
Lindsay seem all right to you? Hey. I'm worried about seeing him. She hasn't seemed herself recently. I've heard about bringing your work in, but this is ridiculous, Jimmy. Jimmy, you shouldn't be doing that at the dinner table. You're going to get grease marks on your books. You will. You haven't listened to a word I've said, have you? Sorry, love. I'm uh, reading this. It's... It's unreal. That bad for No, no, it's brilliant. <laughs> what is it? It's Susan Clark's home, making you know, the girl I was talking about. I thought you said she spends most of her lessons asleep. Yeah, she does, when she's there. She's obviously a very bright girl. Why is she falling asleep in lessons, then? Well, I don't know. I mean, a girl at that age should be full of energy, shouldn't she? Well, something's obviously making her tired. Yeah. Maybe she's got some sort of a problem at home. Something like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm more chips, Lee. That's it, you fell out. That's it, I've got you now. Maybe something, like what? No mercy, just surrender. Never. What are you doing? Secret weapon? Ah, oh, that's not fair. Got you now, have I? Ah, oh, please, ah, oh, don't. <laughs> Look at her grovelling. Ah, oh, never give up. Bombs away! Uh, sorry. You stupid little! I'm sorry, I didn't mean sorry. it. Sorry, I'll give you sorry, I'll throttle you! Hey, what's going on? I'm not taking that from a divvy like you, Jimmy! Lindsay! Do you hear me? Shut up! Lindsay, stop it, love! She's mad, she was gonna kill me. Go on, get out of my sight or I will kill you. Not a... Hey, just get out of the way. You go on. Well, someone gonna tell me what's going on here or what? Hey, guys. Mick, look, it's not what it looks like. It's all right. I'm sorry. You're sorry? What for? I've been sneaking up on you like that. So you managed to get a door after all, eh? You what? My dad wasn't sure you were to get one so soon, you know. Oh, all right. Anyway, I won't keep you. And, uh, thanks. What for? For someone out so soon. Let us know what I owe you, right? Yeah, sure. What are you doing here? I'm just putting a new door in for me. How did you know he needed one? And how did you get one so quick? Well, I just phoned around and given the old shop story, like. I mean, Mick is a neighbour after all. What's come over you? You what? Have you undergone some personality change while I've been away? First you tired of the house, then you fix our door, and now you're helping the neighbours out. Well, there you go, eh? Maybe I'm not such a bad lad after all. Jason, is there something I should know here? Only that I'm your son. You were. You raised me. Thanks. There's something that I should tell you. It's only fair that you know all the reasons why things have got so bad. What does it mean? I think part of why I've behaved the way I have recently is due to something that happened while we were in the lakes. It's all to do with what happened in the lakes. Yeah, but there's something that you don't know about. Oh, great, most secrets. Don't tell me Marcus and Eleanor were brother and sister. <sighs> I wish that's all it was. On the day that Marcus died, what we told the police at the inquest wasn't quite the truth. Marcus didn't just fall. I had hold of him, but I let go. I could have saved him, but I didn't. You let him drop on purpose? I'm not sure whether I meant for him to die or whether I just wanted to hurt him. But to all intents and purposes, I killed him. So you did try and defend us. And that's why you couldn't say anything earlier. And don't worry, Dad. I won't say anything either. Penny for them. Hmm? You thought she miles away? <sighs> Just thinking about the kids in school. There's that many of them. I don't even know half their names. Can't expect us to know all the names. I know, but it's definitely important to know as much about them as possible. What do you mean? Well, their background and that. 
I mean, this Susan Clark. I know nothing about her, except she's got a good brain on her and likes to fall asleep in class. Yeah, but if you're teaching her and she's doing her work, that's your job done, isn't it? Yeah, but love, for me to do a good job, I've got to know what makes these kids tick. And if there's some sort of, I don't know, problem at home or something, then they're not going to do as well as they should do. What, you think there is a problem at home with this girl, then? Well, I don't know, but something's up. I mean, it's not natural, is it? Girl at that age falling asleep in class all the time. Well, no, but I don't see what you can do about it. I can find out what's wrong, can't I? Have a quiet word. Jimmy, don't go poking your nose in. <sighs> Love, if Sinbad can help a scally like Tim, I can help Susan Clark. I am a teacher. Yeah, and not a social worker. Love, I've got a duty to help her. You've got a duty to me and the kids and all. No, do you mean like? Jimmy, you've just got this job, haven't you? It's the first decent job you've had in your life. You don't want to lose it. No, of course I don't. Well, don't rock the boat, then. You stick to the teaching. Stick to what you're being paid for. A world exclusive for car fans next on 4 with new sports car footage from the show that's first with the motoring news. Driven starts in a couple of minutes. It's so strange, isn't it? Gonna have to get used to it, aren't I? No one longer always let myself in for. Yes, but we were supposed to have moved by now, not still be living around the corner. I think last week really helped. What does it they say? Face your fears. It was just so good to be able to see him for the first time and to be able to hold him. So, how's he been? Mm. Hard work. I bet you Max has been a big help, though, isn't he? Well, when he's not at the restaurant. Although he's gone to see the solicitor this afternoon to get the adoption procedure up and running. Oh, right. Oh, I'll be relieved when it's all officially legal and above board. I won't believe he's really ours until then. Well, like I said last week, he couldn't have wished for better parents, could he? Thank you. Jackie, are you doing anything later on this afternoon? No. Why? Well, what about me getting Max to babysit and the two of us going round to Grant's for a meal? Say so since we spent any time together, just the two of us. Well, if that's OK with you, I'd love to. OK, I'll get this little fellow settled with Max and I'll give you a call later. Great. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Jack? Hiya, yeah. you all right? Yeah, sort of. No, you're not. What's up? I want to shut the office down. She's just phoned to say she's selling the business. Oh, no. So what does that mean for you and your job? Who knows? No matter. I'll probably end up back on the dole. How did it go? Hi. Um, oh, very well. <laughs> well, what did Warren say? Does he think it'll all be straightforward? Uh, yeah, unless, of course, uh, Jackie suddenly decides to change her mind. Uh, he doesn't see any reason why not, so he's <sighs> going to get the ball rolling straight away. Oh. So it shouldn't be too long before this little chap is legally on. <laughs> <laughs> And that's it. She's just winding the business up and moving on. That's what she said. Well, what about all her clients? I've had loads of them on the phone this morning, all wanting to know the score. All I've been told is to refer them to some big famous solicitors in town. Why are they taking over the business? 
That sounds like. Well, you might not end up on the dole after all. They might be dead keen to keep you on. I doubt it. They'll probably bring in their own staff. It's really frustrating. Just when I was getting into the job and all. Things will work out. I hope so. Shifty Jones might be crawling to you for a job collecting glasses. Hey, it won't come to that. I hope not for your sake. The mood I'm in, I'd probably clear the bar in five seconds flat. Well, there's always the kitchens. No, oh, that's right. I'm sticking with the vegetables. Hey, do you be told most all my like that? <laughs> Dad? Dad? Did you let me sleep on? Oh, I thought you needed it. I've got something to eat. Oh, you know what? What? That's the best night's sleep I've had in... Well, I don't know how long. So, you're starting to feel like your life's your own again now? Yeah, I think so. I'm just amazed what to be able to throw myself back into work. That was the worst part of being stuck in Lisa's flat for all those months. I really felt like I was going off my head half the time. Yeah, well, it's all over now. Yeah, and I can get on with the things I do best, like sorting off this Millennium Club of Barry's. And bossing people around. Hey, you. So what sort of deal are you on with Barry? Well, it's the same as in here, 50%, but I could get more if I put money in. Have you got any? <laughs> anyway, what about you? When was the last time you saw Jason? Well, he's meant to come round tonight after work for a drink. Huh? I'll make myself scarce then, shall I? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not really bothered with any luck. We'll be in the bedroom for most of the night. <laughs> oh, sounds weird, isn't you being all pervy? Yeah, well, it's like being in a some little cagey all the time. Everyone treats me like I'm still 12 or something. So, what about this other girl he was seeing? Has he finished with her yet? No, not yet. Well, apparently it's not that easy. Things have been that heavy between them. Hmm, so he's telling you anyway. No, Jack, he's been dead honest with me. He is going to finish with her. He's just waiting for the right time. Yeah, well, if I was you, I'd be chasing him. Tell him to come back when he's got to shut the other one. I know this makes me sound like a real cow, but I'm not that bothered. I'm not after a big, heavy relationship or anything. I just want to have a nice time. Yeah, I know that. But there are plenty of single fellas out there for you to have a nice time with. But I like him. Well, there's no way I got with a fella who's seeing someone else. What? You've got a short memory, haven't you? What about when I was going out with that chore and you started seeing him behind me back? Yeah, well, that was years ago when we were kids and he was vile. It makes no difference. I was still dead into him at the time. <sighs> Let's not try all that up, Annie. Fine by me. Just so long as you bear in mind next time you decide to go all moralistic on me. You hardly let him perfect yourself. And I'm warning you, one bit of trouble out of you today and that's your lot. You won't have. Well, I hope not. I've given you enough chances to last you a lifetime. Well, Mick won't put up with any mess and you know that, don't you? Yeah. No, well, if you started acting your age instead of your shoe size for once, you might make something of yourself. By working in a chippy? Well, if it's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. Thanks, Kirsty. Look, I don't want to go on about it. I just think that you could do a lot better than Jason Shadow. Maybe I could. But even if I found out she had another ten women on the go, it'll still be a vast improvement than all the others have had. What? All the two of them? Um, there's been three actually, even I'm not that sad. Oh yeah, well who's the third? Well, to start with, there was scary Simon. Oh yeah, no, could you forget about him? Mm, I know. I'm lucky to still be here. Surprised I wasn't offered up some kind of human sacrifice. <laughs> yeah, well you probably would have been if you hadn't done a runner and come to live with us. Now that should have put me off fellas for life. Yeah, well he put you off for long enough. Mm, yeah, it was absolutely ages after that that I started seeing scary Sean or my work with. Yeah, yeah, we already talked about him. Well, he was dead slimy and all that. God knows why I fancied him. Yeah, well, I never did. I just fancied his money. <sighs> Jackie, you're terrible. Yeah, well, the less said about him, the better. Well, then I started dance school and met a scary Christian. <laughs> God, I'm one person. I've so much bad luck. Joe, so I always forget you went out with him before, Rachel. Yeah, at least it wasn't scary when I was seeing him. No, we saved all that for poor Rach. I never understood what she saw in him. I mean, she is absolutely gorgeous. She could have whatever she wants. Oh, and I couldn't like. Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. But he seemed all right when you were seeing him. Hmm, I suppose. We're all as bad as each other, aren't we? Let's face it, I've hardly got a big list of exes I can brag about. I've been too busy having sort of babies for the Farnhams to even think about men. Well, I think it's about time all that changed, don't you? Sorry it's only coffee and sandwiches, but I've already went to school. <laughs> this is terrific. Right, I'll see you later. Yeah. Dad? 
Yeah? Did Kirsten have anything to do with Mad Marcus going over the cliff? Oh, yeah. She told me to let him go. I thought so. It's not your fault, OK? Dad, it's nice to have you back. Max! Yes, darling? Uh, you know, with it being your day off... I know exactly what you're going to suggest. Oh, do you now? Yeah. We go out for the day somewhere. On the way home, we hope this little one falls asleep. <laughs> we hire a video, open a bottle of wine, cuddle up on the sofa, and then... <laughs> well, am I right? Well, no. Oh. Not quite. Uh, I've arranged to take Jackie around to the restaurant. I knew you'd be happy to babysit. <laughs> when did you decide that? Well, earlier on, when I bumped into her at the shops. Um, do you think that's really wise? And shouldn't we be keeping our distance now that things are moving along really smoothly and the whole adoption process is about to roll into motion? Well, how can we keep our distance when I have to walk past that bar of hers every time I need a loaf of bread? No, what I mean is, do you think it's wise that we should go out of our way to encourage our relationship with Jackie? How's Jackie going to feel if we just wash our hands of her now that we've got what we wanted? No, I'm not suggesting that we completely wash our hands off her. I'm just saying that we should keep her at arm's length, that's all. While we're still living around here, I think we should do our utmost to make her feel as much a part of our lives as we possibly can. She's been through hell and high water for us. Treating her to the odd meal out is the least we can do. Oh, if you say so. Believe me, Max. The last thing we need is Jackie Dixon resenting us. Oops! <laughs> Think you'll find he needs changing. <laughs> Put that down as a staff meal. Oh, thanks, Jack. Well, I hope I haven't put years on you making me do all your exes. No, you just made me realise I've got a lot of catching up to do. Do you reckon? Ta. Well. I don't want to suddenly a force you and look back on my life and think it was dead boring. You know, most people our age are out all the time, having wild times, you know, copping off by the minutes, sex, drugs and drum and bass. <laughs> yeah, and that sounds just so long as you're not kidding yourself. What do you mean? Well, I just wouldn't want to see you getting hurt, that's all. Well, you don't need to worry about that, because I won't. See you after. See ya. Max, I'm just going up to have a bath. Yes, go on. You go ahead and get ready and abandon me on one of my rare nights off. Oh, it'd be good for you to have a bonding session with your son. Oh, yes. Well, you and Jackie eat and drink away our ever-decreasing profits at the restaurant. I promise I'll keep off the bubbly. Yeah, I should think so, too. You've another little one to consider, remember? You sure you're doing the right thing? I wouldn't be doing it otherwise. Well, I can't help thinking that it would be best for Jackie in the long run if we start severing ties with her now rather than build them up even further. In all fairness, we're not going to be living here forevermore. It might do Jackie more harm than good if she starts relying on us for emotional support. You're worrying unnecessarily. All I'm doing is taking Jackie out for a thank you dinner, nothing more. I promise you'll be home well before midnight. Wondering where you were. <sighs> I suppose you thought I was stuck in some bar somewhere. 
Um, just a bit worried, that's all. Well, I went to the travel agent and then I called into the bank to cash the cheque that Eleanor so kindly left me. Well, why have you been to the travel agent? I'm taking a chance that you might be prepared to forgive me for putting you through, well, what I put you through in the past years. And that you might like to try broadening your horizons a bit. You know, extending your education with a kind of glorified field trip. Dad, what are you talking about? I bought two open-ended airline tickets to America. One for me, and one for you, if you'll come with me. It's a bit out of the blue, isn't it? Dan, there's nothing keeping us here. So why don't we take a leaf out of elusive Eleanor's book and do what she did 18 years ago and what she did again last week? Just turn our backs and everything and go. Just disappear. What do you think? Here you go, lads. Nice. What can I get you, me? What's yours? Uh, ham and pineapple pizza, please. Listen, I'm just popping to barbecue for a bottle of wine. Save me hanging around. Yes, okay. You big alky. Who's a gold bottle of wine while you're waiting? Oh, ah, yeah. You know, I'm getting it to take house. I've got a date tonight. Well, who's the lovely fella? Mm, nobody you'd know. It won't be long. See ya. Well, that'll be great. Thank you. It'll save me uh, a lot of hassle and worry. Thanks again. Bye. See? I said there'd be no bother with the house. The estate agent said all we have to do is post in the keys. He'll put the house on the market and sort everything out. We won't have a thing to worry about. So what do you say? Will he come? I don't want to go anywhere with you if you get around up like you did yesterday. Oh, Dan, if we're going to America, then no one will know us there. We can start over, yeah? Alcohol-free. You've said that before. I know. But... After the way that I've behaved and, and upset you, then I'm not going to do that again. And that's a promise I really mean, and a promise I'm going to keep. What about Mum? Well, she can get her own ticket. <laughs> you know what I mean. How old are you? Seventeen. Well, then you can make your own decision. We're not going forever. So what do you think? America, here we come. Sounds better than school. Well, you better get packing, then. What kind of stuff? Oh, not too much. If we travel light, we can travel fast. Dad, can we go to see a baseball game? Dan, we won't have anyone else to worry about. We can do whatever we want to. Thanks, Julian. It seems weird, just the two of us being up together. I know, it's absolutely ages since we did anything like this. Well, I've been away, haven't I? And you've been up to your eyes with the baby. That's an understatement. I'd forgotten what hard work they are. I can't imagine what it'd be like with the two of them. Pity we can't afford an nanny. Oh, I'm sure you'll manage. <laughs> I'm glad we've come out. I think it's important that we stay in touch. Well, we've been living in each other's pockets all year, haven't we? I think I'd really miss it if he just disappears off the face of the earth. <laughs> well, there's no danger of that. And even when we do move, I promise you we'll always stay in touch. I'm glad to hear this. In the meantime, do you think you're going to be able to cope with us living just around the corner? <sighs> well, I'm going to have to, aren't I? I won't kid myself, it's going to be easy, but... Well, like you say, you're going to be moving eventually anyway, aren't you? Silly, isn't it? I thought, once we had the baby, we'd all just go back to our own lives and carry on as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Who was I trying to kid? All it's done is open a brand new can of worms. I don't know how we'll ever be able to thank you enough for what you've gone through for us. Yeah, I know. You must have told me a million times. But sometimes, when I think of the sacrifice you made... Oh, Susanna, don't be making out like I'm some big saint. I was desperate for that money, remember? I know. <laughs> But once you got involved, the money became a secondary issue, didn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> so are you glad to be back at work? Oh, yeah, I'm made up. This Millennium Club I'm working on with Barry, it's that exciting. It's going to be massive. Well, go on, then. Tell me all your plans. Here we go. I would have thought this place was a bit down market for you, Maxwell. No, uh, hi. hi. No, not at all. Susanna, she's out tonight with uh, 
a friend. So, I thought I'd uh, treat myself. How was the little fella? Oh, he's brilliant. Yeah, he's a little blinded, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. Sir. Bye. See ya. Thanks. <sighs> it's a shame, that, isn't it? What is? The Farnham's baby would have been adopted and that. Kind of wondering what the circumstances are, can you? Yeah. I, mean, I just don't know how anyone can give the baby away. I mean, I really don't. I mean, I still miss my little Ruthie and I still see her. Is that pizza ready yet? Yeah? Yep. All done in the bag. Yeah. See ya. Multi concept. Well, I'm not quite sure what it means, but it, it sounds fascinating. Barry says he'd been wanting to get something like this off the ground for a while, but he was quite happy for me to come up with all the main ideas. Mm, impressive. Well, at least it stopped me from going completely mad when I was stuck in Lisa's flat for all those months. Give me some kind of aim. And where will all this be based? Well, we've got a few sites in mind, but the one that we're really after is the church hall by the shops. And St Christopher's? I thought that had been condemned. Well, it has. That's why it's up for auction. Apparently, it's still lucky to be standing off the explosion. And that's where the main leisure centre and nightclub will be? Yeah. Well, I can't see that going down too well with some of the local residents. Yeah, well, that's the last thing on my mind right now. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Cheers, mate. See ya. Have you been quicker cooking it yourself? What? What's up, Kate? Well, I asked for ham and pineapple, and this has got anchovies on and everything. They're not for sick. I'm sorry, it's just that it's been that busy in here. It's that confusing. Well, you should concentrate, shouldn't you? Yeah, well, let's face it. You need a brain to concentrate. It's not like Kate. I'll do you one on the house this time, OK? What do you like? <laughs> Julian, could you ask Table 5 to keep their children under control? Thanks. Well, I'm surprised you let them in. I remember when this place first opened. You didn't stand a chance of getting a table if you looked even vaguely working class. Yes, well, Max can't afford to be such a snob anymore. And guess what? We're having our first wedding here. Oh, huh? well, lost. And you never guess whose wedding? No, go on. Lindsay Corkill. Oh, yeah. Well, we were booked up for the 14th, and Peter said he was going to look somewhere else. Oh, well, they've definitely confirmed with us. Oh? Huh? Things must be bad to be fighting to keep hold of Lindsay Corkill's wedding reception. Yes, well. This last year has burnt quite a hole in our pockets, but with the baby and the huge bank loan we had to take out. Right. That's it, then. So just shut the door. Just shut it, yeah. We haven't exactly had the best of lives in there. I'm almost tempted to throw away the key, but posting it to the estate agent makes more sense. What about this? Found it on the kitchen floor. I was aiming for the bin. Are you sure? So we'll be contacting Mum. Just to let her know what we're doing. I'm phone her from the airport. You never wanted the family to come here in the first place, did you, Dan? I just wish we could have stayed in family. Been happy. Right then. Do you want the pleasure? Let's go then. Just like that. You said it. Just keep walking. Don't look back. Go on, I want to hear more about your plans. Well, that's about it, basically. But it should keep me nice and busy up till the year 2000. And what about Bar Brookie? Will that just continue as normal? No, I'm just finalising the plans for a refit now. I want it to be more like a, a continental cafe bar. You know, cafe lunches and kids in the day. <laughs> bar and booze, but no kids in the evening. All the hooligans at night, then? No way, I wouldn't let them in. Well, it all sounds very exciting. I'm sure this new club will be a great investment for you. Yeah. But I'm looking for somebody to take on the restaurant bit at the moment. You know, we provide the space and the customers and they do the restaurant. And for a small percentage? Yeah, well, we're providing a captive market. It's going to be a massive money spinner. Hey, I don't suppose you'd be interested, would you? Me? Well, you said yourself business has been bad. Maybe you'd be better off cutting your losses and putting your money into something more worthwhile. No, I don't think so. Why not? I mean, what returns are you getting from this place? 10, 15%? Well, I don't know. It fluctuates so much at the moment, but, um... Well, not much, let's put it that way. Well, I could get you 30% guaranteed. No. Well, maybe you should talk to Max about it. 
Let's face it, our last business deal worked out well, didn't it? There's no reason why this one couldn't and all. What do you reckon? Trying to match the beautiful people next on four as she's gotta have it goes for the bohemian look in Brighton. Half hour in bed. Okay. Not complaining, are you? No, but I'm not getting any younger, am I? Don't want to be falling asleep in school. No, could be. Mm. Hey, hey, hands off. That's how you ended up geriatric parents. Thank you, <laughs> you cheeky madam. I'll see you later, love. Ta-da. Hey, your bushies. Oh, right. Hi, sir. That's what we like to see. Quick ones round the block, eh? I wish. I've just done two and a half miles. Oh, very nice one. Listen, do you want me to hang on? Walk you round to school? You must be joking. I'd never live it down. See you later, sir. Yeah, see ya. Oh, there you go. I stuck an apple in for the teacher. All right, thanks, Tom. Listen, bring us some papers, will you? Don't forget. Yes, OK. And try and get us an allow. I work in a school, not a dentist. Anyway, what's wrong with the Daily Telegraph? It's too big. I can't get hold of it. Oh, aye, aye. Keep the party clean. See ya. <laughs> see you later. See. <sighs> anyway, so Katie reckons that's it. What do you mean, that's it? What I say? They've done one, packed the bags and just got off. What, all of them? Yeah. She went first sometime last week, Katie reckons, and now he's gone to us lads with them. Straight up? Yep. Riley? Right, God knows. Maybe he's been up to something dodgy. Like what? Well, I don't know. But there must be something. I mean, you don't just do a moonlight flip for nothing, do you? There we go. One clean, sleepy baby. Oh, Max! And one set of legal documents courtesy of Warren. He wants us to look through them. Oh, Harry, come on. Come on, darling, you sit here. Well, I'll have to have a look at them later. No, he, he needs them back as soon as possible. Darling, uh, where are the bottles? Oh, I've not a chance to do them yet. Again? Well, I'm sorry, I've been busy. And I haven't? Well, forgive me for drumming up some much-needed revenue for our restaurant. Revenue? What revenue? Lindsay Corkill's wedding. What? November the 14th. Not a huge party, but I'm sure they'll put plenty behind the bar. <laughs> what, the Corkills? What ever possessed you to agree to something like that? Oh, for God's sake, the last time one of that lot got married, I got beaten up behind the marquee. They won't cause any trouble. Why didn't you consult me first? Because I didn't need to. It made good business sense to say yes on the spot before she could find somewhere else. <laughs> we should be so lucky. Do you know, sometimes I wonder why I bother. Well, so do I, looking at these figures. I work every hour that God sends while you sit around sipping coffee with Lindsay, telling her you'd sort out a buffet. What? How dare you? 
you. All right, go on, tell me, what have you done today? You haven't even mixed Harry's bottles. Max, you can stop this conversation right here. What do you think is the hardest? Swanning around an empty restaurant, eating gourmet lunches, ordering around your staff of 15, or trying to feed, clothe and wash a newborn baby when you're five months pregnant yourself, stuck in the house all day and absolutely shattered? OK, OK, I, I meant... I don't care what you meant. Given the choice, I know where I'd rather be. Sorry. Look, why don't we go out today? I can't. I'm going through the books. Surely the VAT returns, they don't have to be submitted till the end of the month. I'm trying to see if we can actually make a profit out of this mess. Things will pick up. I doubt it. Business isn't exactly booming. Well, we've got Christmas coming along. And anyway... The restaurant's finished. Finished? Losing money hand over fist. I think we should sell up. 280 minus 70 minus 85 minus 11 minus 82 equals 82 quid. What's up? That Ollie Simpson. When did we finish that extension? It must be six weeks ago. Yeah. Hasn't he coughed up yet? No, but he better add it. And soon, and I'm going to be up the creek without a paddle. How much does he own it? 1,500 quid, all told. You what? Look, get yourself round there and have a word and tell him you'll take it out in his face and soon stick his hand in his pocket. I've already tried that one. He's not in or he's not answering his door. I'm supposed to send me vat off tomorrow and all. I'm spent up. I've got to try and get that money from somewhere. Well, I thought my mum kept on top of all of that. I saw the die until I went through this lot. She hasn't touched it for weeks. You're joking? No. Well, she's got a lot on now, hasn't she? Now she's a big cheese in the union. She's hardly going to be worried about my business going down the tubes. <sighs> Answer machine. Going with Jackie? No, no way! No, just calm down and let me explain. There is no way I'm selling grants and throwing in my lot with Jackie Dixon. Why not? Because... Because we don't even know what this Millennium Club, whatever it's called, is going to be like. Could go bust in six months. Well, Grant is hardly riding a crest of a wave. I am not letting our livelihood rest in Jackie's hands. You were happy enough to let her produce a child for you. Why won't you trust her with your money? It's not about Harry. What is it to do with, then? Look, think about it. We have a new baby, we've got another one on the way, and we're up to our eyes in debt. We can't afford to take the risk, we'll lose everything. Max, we've got nothing to lose. I knew I shouldn't have let you go out with her. <laughs> me? Since when did you give me permission to go anywhere? I'm sorry, Suzanne. I'm not letting you do this. Well, I'm sorry, because it's not your decision. I beg your pardon? I own the restaurant. Remember? If I want to sell it, I will. You're serious? I don't see why you should tell me what to do. All right, then we'll sell it. Go on, do what you like. Max! The Millennium Club, eh? Mind you, it's going to take a fair old bit of cleaning, that lot. Yeah, well, that wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, but if you want it done properly, you're going to have to get a professional unit in, aren't you? Someone who knows what they're doing. You mean like your set up? Well, now you come to mention it. Well, you'll have to get some figures together for me, then. Fair enough, we will do. Then I can compare all the different rates. You will? Well, I'm going to be putting it out to tender, aren't I? Go with the cheapest. Flaming hell. All right, I'll get Anthea to sort something else. I'm seeing her later on. Seeing her? Yeah, seeing her. What? As in, seeing her? Seeing her? Yeah, well, you know, it's only early days yet. I knew you were giving her one. Hey, do you mind? We're not all after the one thing, you know. No, not much, you know. Well, Emma, how long's this been going on? Oh, a couple of weeks, you know, since she, uh, since she got the job. He's been interviewing them all on his casting couch. <laughs> so, where's she from? Kirkdale. She lives with her daughter. Huh? Aren't they, eh? Jacqueline, you like her, love. She's a really, really nice woman. Oh, we'll have to see how long it lasts, eh? Probably about three minutes, if she's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, the flowers shouldn't be expensive. Not if it's just at a registry office. It's normally just those buttonholes and table decorations, isn't it? No, I just wish we could find a church. <sighs> Even if we did, they probably wouldn't marry us, too. Two heathens like us. <laughs> oh, I suppose it doesn't matter where we do it. Anyway, even if it wasn't a church, I'd have to wear a proper dress and all that, wouldn't I? Why were you thinking of wearing? To know. 
A suit or something? I thought your dad was going to pay for a frock. Well, he wasn't until he realised how expensive they are. I'm not bothered anyway. I mean, what is the point of shelling out for a flash dress that you can only wear for a couple of hours? I know, but it's meant to be special, isn't it, Lince? I told you, I'm not really bothered. Anyway, doesn't matter what we wear, does it? Just as long as we enjoy the day. <laughs> Thanks. Hi. Still looking papers from the stuff room? Uh, borrowing them, actually. So how's it going then? Selden all right? Yeah, not so bad. Kids can be a bit of a nightmare, can't they? <laughs> uh, not if they know who's boss. Hey, listen, you haven't come across a girl called Susan Clark, have you? Year eight, Mr. Cooper's class. Ah, uh, yeah, I know the one. Pain in the backside. She hasn't had any problems in the past, has she? You know, bullying, anything like that. Oh, I see. NQTI, to say. You what? Newly qualified teachers to come out of college, then they're going to change the world. Turn the cock of the year into little Lord Fauntleroy. <laughs> You'll learn. Hey, hang on a minute. Hey, at the end of the day, there's only one thing these little savages understand, and that's discipline. Spare the rod and spoil the child. That's what I say. Morning, Em. You got a minute? Um, I'll catch you later. Well, go on, girls, and there's somewhere you should be. See you later, Em. Starting. You been out this morning? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How far? A couple of miles. A couple of miles? Are you serious? The county trials are in three weeks' time. You're going to have to do better than that. You might as well have stayed in bed. Did uh, Susanna Farnham give you a list of what's going to be on the buffet? No, not yet. Did you get that letter? What letter? Your mum left it on the side over there. Lots of fish. Why didn't you tell me? What did it say? Oh, my God, it's from me solicitor. What? I don't believe it. It's all gone through. What? I've done it. I'm divorced! <laughs> 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 All right, Joey, mate. It's Greg. Yeah, not too bad. Um, listen, you know that job I've been doing over at your place? Is there any chance of me having half the payments up front? Yeah, I know there's still a bit to do, but I've been waiting for materials, haven't I? Yeah, you know what it's like. I've got a bit of a cash flow problem. Yeah, the Batman's on my case. Uh, no. All right, mate. Thanks, anyway. See ya. Well, what did he say? No, no chance. <sighs> Margie, what's the point in having a mobile even if I turn the thing on? Anyone else? Yeah, well, what about that? That hasn't been paid. That's because we haven't started it. Well, that's the last one. There isn't any more. I've been through every invoice. You sure? I'm positive. Yeah, I'll move over. Let's go through these one more time. So, big celebration, eh? Yeah, can't believe it's finally come through. Made up, aren't we? Yeah. Um, you've got somewhere at the reception now, haven't you? Yeah, congrats. One of the best, eh, Lynn? Hey, second best, if you don't mind. Thanks very much, Jack. I'll see you later. Thanks, Jack. Look at him. He's like a lamb to the slaughter, isn't he? Yeah, I know. Just the latest in a long line. Just think, that could have been you. <laughs> Talk about a lucky escape. Have you heard the latest? What's that? About Ollie Simpson and his other half. No, why? What's happened? Well, from what I've heard, him and Eleanor had a massive row and he's ended up throwing her out. Oh, go away! Apparently there was murder. Well, Casey Rogers reckons that him and the lad have packed up and gone abroad so he can get his head together. It's all right for some, isn't it? If I had to pack my bags and go off every time me and your father had her, I'd be halfway round the wheel by now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? My dad soon did it on when that auntie's name came up. Oh, I think it's dead good. I mean, it's better than being on his own, isn't it? Yeah, and from what I've seen of her, she seems OK. Yeah, well, let's just hope it lasts, eh? Yeah, Sally, what, Jack? This is going to cost you a fortune, you know? Yeah, well, it's not like I'm the only one who's putting money in. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot you and Barry Grant were in each other's pockets. Hey, he's the banker, that's all. Yeah, but make sure you don't fall behind on the payments. So, Prince 
Right, and all the other boys in the Black Hand gang were all tooled up, yeah? And the Serbian leaders gave them the ammo. Now, what was the name of the fella that they bumped off? Susan, how about you? Are you sure? Mr. Corkill, sorry to interrupt. Uh, OK, if I steal one of your pupils. Uh, what for? Something far more important than the War of the Roses. It's World War I, actually. Emily, bring your bag. You don't mind, do you? I wanted to do the long cross-country course. If she goes now, she should just be able to do it over lunch. In this weather? Ah, she's behind on her training. Needs to do a bit of catching up. Well, to be honest with you, she's a bit behind on her history and all. Have you got your trainers and stuff? So, if you don't mind, I'd rather she stay till the end of the No, course. I don't think you understand. I need her to come now, Mr. Corkill. I'd quite like her to stay, Mr. Abbott. This is ridiculous. Emily, my room now! If you call back later, then I'll let you know what the homework is. OK, love? OK, thanks, sir. Right. Sorry for the interruption. Right, uh, where were we? Gavrilli Princip. Who did he decide to take out? Oh. Right, listen, for the next lesson, I want you all to read up to page 45 in this book, OK? That's Britain declaring war on Germany in the Battle of the Mons, and there'll be a written test next Tuesday, OK? Susan, have you got a minute? Look. Just want to have a quick word. No. No, that's well being paid. That's just the court. No, 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 that's it, nothing. What well, can't you just tell the vault man it's going to be a couple of weeks late? Oh, I, yeah, but one a big hefty fine slapped on top of what I already owe. How is he that strict? Too right, yeah. Then why haven't you got the cash saved ready to pay? Because I don't usually do it, do I? Your mother does, only she's let this lot slide. You can't just blame me, Mum. Who can't? Look, are you sure there's no one else that owes you any money? There's only one person, ginger nut over the road. Ollie, I'm so tight I could peel an orange in me pocket, Simpson. Then you're just gonna have to make sure that you get it, aren't you? Come on, don't lose it. You're slowing down. Ten minutes, 55. You're not even trying. Say the what, sir? Come on, one minute's rest, then round again. Say the part and knackered. You're what? Say I'm really tired, sir. Tired? Running at this speed, I don't see how you can be. Come on, round again. I can't. There's no such word as can't, and you're going to keep going round until you run this course in under ten minutes, right? Yeah, OK. Ready? Yeah. And go! Hey, it's a good job my dad's not in there. What do you mean? What would that lot in there, the cold girl clan? What are you on about? She was nice as pie to them before. Yeah, only because of pizza. If he wasn't marrying Miss World over there, I wouldn't give them the time of day. You happy? Yeah, I'm made up. Start of a new chapter, eh? <laughs> then do you know what you were saying before about just wearing a suit and not making a fuss about that? Yeah. Well, the thing is, I want to make a fuss. Like, mad. Well, so do I, but... Well, we're not exactly rolling in it, are we? I mean, I agree, yeah. I would love to walk up the island in a big white frock and, and you in top hat and tails. But all that luck costs, doesn't it? We just haven't got that source of money. So I think we should just make the best of what we've got and really enjoy the day. Oh, that's best, actually. You know, lager goes right through me. Right, what do you want? Don't worry about it, Jack. I've already got it sorted. Oh, my God, champagne? Oh, I can't <laughs> drink champagne in the middle of the day. We'll be able to do the tea. <laughs> oh, go on, Mum. You can have one glass. Oh, go on, then. What should we drink to? Yep. The wedding? To a long and happy life together. To the wedding. Cheers. <coughs> oh, Harry. <coughs> Harry. <coughs> Max. <coughs> Max, where are you? <coughs> I just want you to know that if you've got any problems, Susan, at home, at school, anywhere, you can tell me. Or any of the teachers? I haven't got any problems. Are you sure? Yeah. Look, Susan, I know you can do good work. I've seen it. But there's other times when you don't even seem interested. 
Is it me? Are my lessons boring you? Is that why you keep drifting off? Don't. OK, so what will we be talking about today, then? We are to all one and the Archduke Ferdinand. See, you did know the answer all the time, didn't you? Look, I know you probably think I'm some dickhead of a teacher poking his nose in where it's not wanted, but... Well, I don't like seeing anyone unhappy. I do know what it's like, you know. I can still remember being at school. Well, just about. I used to be exactly the same as you. Only doing my own work when I felt like it. Turning up late, sitting at the back of the class, hoping no one had noticed me because I didn't have a clue what the teacher was going on about most of the time. Didn't have any answers. But you have. I know you have. Are you sure there's nothing you want to tell me? No. <sighs> OK. Go on, then. Go and get your dinner. Hey, hang on. Can't go out like that. You'll get drenched. Where's your coat? I lost it. You lost it? I'll be all right. Hey, hey! <sighs> Put that round you. Go on. Bring it back to me later on. <laughs> Check your head. Why? Because I want to see it, that's why. What for? That's none of your business. Look, is she in it or not? She's in the office. Come in. Jackie, can I have a word? Uh, yeah, sure. How can I help? Um, it's about this club that you're trying to get off the ground. Oh, yeah? Yes, I would like to know what the hell is going on. No, there's definitely no one in there, Dad. Where the hell is he? Don't you stick a note through the door? Say that if you don't get your dosh, you'll be around to take the thing down. A stuck-up, mingy middle class. Oh, hey, love. You won't get an answer in there. You what? Not oh, yet. Oh, they've gone. Gone? There's been murder. He's done a runner. He threw her house and then just got up. Oh, oh, oh hey, love, thanks. <laughs> so you're wasting your energy, love, cos the house is empty? <laughs> I don't believe it. He's done one. Nah, he wouldn't have just got off. At least not without clearing his debts first. He has. He's got off with my 1,500 quid. 1,500 quid? What the hell am I going to do? He's broke me. We're bust. I get up one morning to be told that the restaurant is going to be sold and we're going into partnership with you. Really? So Susanna's going ahead then? No, Susanna is not going ahead with it. I've told her we're not doing it. Well, why not? Are you serious? Yeah, I've been to see this so-called investment idea of yours and the place is a mess. Yeah, well, that's easily rectified. It could cost thousands. Oh, come on, Max, you know the score. You used to be a surveyor, didn't you? The only thing that counts is the location and that's perfect. I'm sorry, no. I, I, I'm just not interested. <sighs> OK, then, why? What are your reservations? You are joking, aren't you? Well, it's not as if you can't trust me. It's nothing to do with trust. Are you forgetting what we've been through, what's gone on the past 12 months? Well, that makes it a good idea for us all to go into business together, doesn't it? No, it's not, actually! You're... <sighs> you are Harry's mother, for God's sake, and that's why it definitely wouldn't be a good idea. You can't keep hanging around us all the time, keeping contact with him. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, I am. And I'm not doing it. Do you know, I used to think you were all right. I even quite liked you for a bit. God knows why. I just don't want things complicated. Oh, come off it, Max. Why don't you just admit the real reason? I already have. No, you haven't. You're just using Harry to hide behind and see through you like a window. Look, I'm sorry. That's all I have to say on the matter. You just don't like the idea of me and Susanna teaming up, do you? Two women joining forces and coming up with a good idea. That's what's really getting to you. The fact that Susanna thinks my business is going to be better than yours. Don't be ridiculous. Well, I'll tell you now, Max. Grant is going down the tubes. Cos I've been in there. There's more staff than customers. The restaurant is doing fine. Max, it isn't. Susanna's on top of it. She knows how bad things are. 
Look, if you want to cut your nose off to spite your face, then fine. You do that. But don't think you can come to me six months down the line and say you've changed your mind. Because it's going to be too late. It's now or never, Max. Make your mind up time. It's up to you. The Channel 4 book, Total Brookside by Jeff Tibbles, is available now for most bookshops. And just a reminder that Tuesday's Brookside now begins at 8. Well, next on 4, it's the one where Ross shows off his tackle. Friends, in a couple of minutes. Wednesday at 6 on 4. We're hoping it's going to be fine. OK, get them off. Don't we just gone ace of Yeah, I know. I've got a couple of things I need to prepare for. You know, war chance for World War One, all that sort of stuff. We well, were till late last night preparing. Yeah, I know. That was for year seven. This is for year eight. Do you know, I don't understand any of this anymore. What's wrong with first and second years? Everyone understood it, so they've changed it. Mwah. Anyway, listen, I don't see why you've got to do so much as own, you know. They should be paying you overtime. Huh. Here, here. I'll see you. <sighs> hey, love, you better take your coat. You might need it after. I haven't got it. Why? Um, I lent it to a girl in school. Are you joking? No, I was chucking it down. She didn't have a coat, so... Jimmy, it's one thing working all hours on your schoolwork, but lending your clothes out. Don't worry, love. I'll get it back. You better add. You don't want to be a soft touch, love. <sighs> yeah, tell you what. Don't say I don't give you nothing. Surprised you could find the time. I don't sort all that again. I've got every right to be annoyed. Oh, look, it's not my fault that Ollie Simpson's done a run without paying you. You said you'd invoice him, you said you'd chase the money. I'm sorry, love, I can't be at your beck and call 24 hours a day. I don't expect you to. Love, I'm run ragged. I've got me job, I've got the house to run, washing and cleaning. Why should I be expected to do the paperwork and all? Because you've always done it. I'm a builder, not a secretary. You know I hate paperwork. Well, there's loads of things I don't like doing, but I've still got to get on with it. I've spent a bomb on materials for that extension. I'm going to go over there and salvage what I can and sell it on. Oh, behave yourself. Well, at least I'll be able to give the money to the Batman, keep him off me back for a while. Greg, where are you going? Will you stop it? I'm only going to take what's mine. You can't! Can't I? Just watch me. Oh, don't be so stupid. You can't go breaking into people's houses. That's stealing. That's exactly what he's done to me. Look, I don't blame you for being angry, but this is only going to make matters worse. Look, you might even get done for it. Yeah, well, at least it'll make me feel better. Oh, yeah, with a great big hefty fine to pay. Look, babe, I know the Simpsons have dropped us rice in it, but we've got to find a better way to get around it. We've got to be practical. Look, why don't you call the BAT people? Tell them that the cheque's going to be a little bit late. <sighs> You can't fob that lot off. Look, they'll give you a week or so to get the cash together. They'll find me, you know, slap on a load of interest. Look, don't worry about it. I'll take time to sort it out. I'll ring round to everyone who owes you money, see if I can get some cash in that way. Oh, please, Greg, just leave it with me. I promise you, I'll find a way to sort something out as soon as I can. It's a pity you couldn't have put this effort in a bit sooner. We might have been in this mess. I can't believe he's actually asleep. Well, we'll have to use uh, sleeping tablets next time. What? You mean crush them in his milk? 
I meant for us. Oh, <laughs> well, you're all right. You sleep soundly most of the night. It's me that gets up to him. Well, it's not my fault I'm a sound sleeper. It'd be nice if you could help out in the day, though. <sighs> I have to work. Do we have to listen to this racket? It relaxes me and the baby. <sighs> Sounds like Harry's on my side. He doesn't like it either. Oh, Max, go and see to him, please. Just let me finish my tea first. Oh, Max, I need to rest, so please go and see to him now. Hang on a second. Just give me a minute, will you? I'll do it myself. I'll go. You're joking, Steve. I was there last week at a six-hour meeting. I thought we thrashed all this out. Oh, well, wouldn't they just? OK, I'll go up there, see what I can do. See ya. Why can't people just stick to what they promise? I had put all my stuff in the dirty washing. Oh, no, it's not you. It's flaming farm fresh. Everything was sorted and even renamed. I've got to go back, take another look at us and human resources. I'm serious. Yes, babe. Mum, um, can I get a new coat? I've saw loads of lovely ones in town. No, it's not wrong with the one you've got. Hey, you going running at this hour? I overslept. I didn't realise the town. It's not like you. You're going to be late for school. I'm only doing a quick 4K, you know, stamina stuff. It's pure hard, like. Oh, no. Em, if you want to be serious about your training, you're going to have to start going to bed earlier. So it's good stuff on the telly. I don't care. Mr Abbott wants you training hard, but I don't want you oversleeping. Mum. No, me and your dad have spent a fortune on your new training gear. We just want to make sure that you do your best. Look, we don't want to get heavy over your bedtimes, but if we have to, we will. Look, this is for you, look, not for us. Okay. You better hurry up and get along. And don't you dare be late for school. I don't know. Every time I put him down, he just starts crying. Oh, did you change him? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, and what about feeding? Oh, yeah, bacon and eggs and fried bread. What do you think I've been doing up there? <laughs> well, heaven knows. I need to rest. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You just won't settle. It's not my fault. Oh, we're out of baby milk as well. Oh, could you go and get some? Darling, I don't have much time. I mean, well, you could. You could go out and get some fresh air. I don't need any fresh air. I need to rest, but maybe Harry could do with some. It might help him settle. You want me to take him out? Yes. Is there a problem? Well, what if you bump into Jackie Dixon? And? Well, I don't particularly want to bump into her with the babe. All right, then, yeah, I'll take him out. I'll... Hey. Where's his coat? What the hell are you doing? Well, I thought it might have been something good, but it's only a woman's magazine. Oh, great. It's got to be cleaned up now, that. Now, look what you've done. I never touched it. If you hadn't have bothered with the magazine, it would have been all right. Yeah, well, I thought Maxie had some porn or something. But just go and get our bag and start shoveling this in, will you? Clean this all up. Look at that. I wish you wouldn't bother poking your nose in other people's business. Why have you got such a knock on? I was only looking. I haven't got a knock on, it's just... The satellite telly's got to go back. Why? What are you doing? Oh, all right, Max. Who did that? Uh, it was an accident. Yeah, we're just cleaning it all up, you know. Well, uh, all this paint, it was in my bin bag. How come it ended up all over the pathway? Well, I think what's happened is a cat's got at it and ripped the bag as I've moved. Then he split it. <sighs> Well, I hope you're going to clear it up. Yeah, oh, no problem, Max. We'll clean it all up. Go and get some newspaper, will you? Get it cleaned up. Molly, I bet you know where he's gone, don't you? Beg your pardon? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Come on, when push comes to shove, you let all stick together. You and that Ollie Simpson were a stick of thieves. You're not telling me to get off without telling you where he's gone. What are you saying? You're telling me that Ollie's left? Well, what about uh, Eleanor and Danny? I've just been round to Eleanor's office. Katie told me she's selling up. They've all done one, and from what I've heard, they're not coming back. Well, it's the first I've heard of it, I assure you. Well, are they telling me that he's just left? 
like that without telling me? Well, I hope he didn't owe you any cash. He just stung me for 1,500 quid. Well, he'll send the money on. I mean, he's certainly not the type of guy to rip anyone off. Now, I can assure you of that. Someone you thought was a friend's just got off without so much as a bye-bye. How can you be sure about anything? All right, Smiler. Have a nice day, y'all. All right, you. That's enough, soft lad. Well, you see the governor and the miserable old... Tim, you're already making a nuisance of yourself with this little lot. Don't antagonise any more of the neighbours if you want to stay living round here. All right. Keep your hair on. Anyway, what was that about losing satellite telly? Read this from the Building Society. We're in trouble. Why? Because the mortgage rate's changed and we're on a pittance in the chippy. Well, just ask Mick for a raise. He's your mate, isn't he? Yeah, and he's also trying to pay for Gemma's education. Well, come on, hurry up. Get this lot cleaned up. Susan? Susan? How are you, Sue? How's things? All right. All right. Did you get that homework done? Uh, I think so. You think so? Should be yes, sir. Done it, sir. It was dead easy, sir. Yeah. Right. Listen, no worries, but um, remember me coat? Oh, God, yeah. Well, is there any chance of me having it back? Only Mrs. Corkill's given me pressure to get it off you. I'm sorry, sir. Why? Nothing. Has something happened to it? Susan? Hey, what's up? Didn't tell me, you know. It's all right, soon I'll get you helped. Better go and see Miss Thomas. Go on. Hey, up, Corkers, what was going on there? Hey, you with your arm around that lazy madam, Clark. Oh, no, she's all right, she's just a bit upset. And you put your arm around her. Bit naive. You what? Susan Clark's a weirdo. She can fly off the handle of her nothing. She's a bit dim, you see, and she could misinterpret you putting your hands on her. <laughs> Get out of it. Your career, Corkers. <laughs> oh, gosh, he hasn't stopped crying since we left here. Oh, he's probably got overtired. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Right, I've got enough of this stuff to last us for a few days. Oh! What is the matter with you? You'll never guess what's happened. Go on. The Simpsons have gone. Just up sticks and left without telling a soul. Well, who told you that? Not virtually everyone knows except me, you know. Well, and you had no idea? I mean, Ollie didn't even mention it. No, not a word. Do you know? It's funny, isn't it? You, you think you know someone, and then all of a sudden they go and do something like this, out of the blue. Well, boring old Ollie wasn't quite so boring after all. I can't believe he didn't say goodbye. I thought we were friends. I, I really did. We, we often confided in each other, you know? Not this time. And well, I suppose I'd better make a move. Um, got lots to do. Uh, I'm uh, meeting one of my old roundtable contacts to uh, talk about grants. Look. I know I was angry when I said we should sell the restaurant, but in the cold light of day... It's not just a question of selling a restaurant. There is no way. Jackie Dixon is telling me how to run my business. But going in with Jackie will give us a chance of a good, secure income. I know that, but... And it will give us a chance to spend more time together instead of struggling on. Yeah, I wouldn't have to go to the doctors on my own because you have to work. Why do you have to go to the doctors? I just want to go and see if everything's all right. Why? Shouldn't it be? Well, I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I just want to have a check-up. I've got the amni on Friday and I don't feel on top form. <sighs> Oh, well, by all means, if it makes you happier, then uh, go, but I have to go to work. Well, can you take Harry with you? Don't be absurd. Well, there are hardly any customers. Well, I've got things to do. Look, if we do get busy, the last thing I need is a crying baby on my hands. Max, please. You'll be fine. Look, one of the nurses will hold him for you, all right? I'm expecting deliveries really soon. Oh, we have got staff. Please, don't make this hard for me. Th this is what you wanted. I hadn't anticipated being pregnant at the same time. You'll be fine, all right? Look, if there are any difficulties, you just call me, OK? Bye. Bye, Max. After time, you are told about your PE kit. 
What's your excuse this time? I don't know, Shane. You don't know? Well, who does then? Can anyone here enlighten me as to why Susan Clark has forgotten a PE kit? Not a word spoken in your defence, girl. What's the real answer? I forgot it, sir. You forgot it? It's been on your timetable since the beginning of term and you've had the kit once. Well, I'm fed up. You lot, two teams now. You, Clark, can wait over there by the wall till I work out what to do with you. Uh, watch. Did you have to do that in front of the other kids? What's your problem, Caucus? Oh, no problem. I just think there's ways of doing things. Well, should have given the girl a cuddle, should I? All right. That's enough. Do me a favor. Stick to War of the Roses or whatever other useless tosh you give Ministry. If you don't mind, Mr. Corkill, I've got a class to run. You lot, come on! Hey, I'll tell you what. You know, instead of losing the satellite telly, why don't we just eat here? You know, save money on the food bill. Perk of the job, like. Because I don't want to eat here. And I wouldn't save a great deal of money anyway. Certainly not enough to cover the mortgage. Why is it going up so much anyway? Because I was on a fixed rate and they've reviewed it. What? Oh, yeah, look. It's all in the letter. Yeah. Read it and weep. What? Yeah. Rate reverts to variable standard, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. What do you make of this? What? Offering me a flaming car loan. Oh, are you going to get one? When did that go up? Nice in your eyes. Oh, that's Jack being better. When did that go up? About an hour ago. Oh, Mail shop all done out. Not moving back in then, eh? Nah, we got the chippy to run. I don't think so. Why are you asking? Well, I just might know someone who's interested, you know. Oh, I. Yeah, Ron Dixon nipped over before. I had to look around. Ron Dixon? What does he want with it? I don't know, love. See you soon. See you, love. Jack. Ron Dixon. This was all his fault. Don't remind me. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be having mortgage problems at the moment. Yeah, and he came out of it all right, didn't he? Great grannies or whatever they're called must be earning a fortune. You know what? We could sort him, you know. You what? We could sabotage him or something. Tim. Yeah, we could chim one of his grannies. Behave, will you? I've got to keep you on the straight and narrow. I don't want to know about granny wars. We've got to get out of this mess on our own. Oh, hi. How long have you been back? Well, uh, just a few minutes. Um, how did it go? Well, the doctor said I may be a bit anemic. She took blood and gave me some iron tablets. Oh, I see. Oh, well, it's just as well you went, then. Do you know, I've just realised something. The baby isn't crying. No. He's worn out like me. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Look, um, I've been looking over the... Uh, Old accounts for grants. Oh, don't waste your time, Matt. No, listen, we are more or less in the same situation as we were when we first opened. And then we went from strength to strength. And I know I can make it work this time, Susanna. I just know I can. To fix grants will take too much time, effort and money. But put it up against this crazy Millennium Club idea. It's the lesser of the two evils. I think the Leisure Club is a great project. And I think we should go in with her. There's going to be four of us who need a secure income and we're not going to get it from grants. If you just let me... I want us to be a family, Max. But I don't want to stay at home again looking after the kids while you swan off to work everywhere. I've been there. Done that. OK? So whatever gives us the easier life gets my vote and my money. <laughs> when you push your nose into my class. Listen, Susan Clark's just starting to come out of her shell. You don't need to tell me about the pupils in this school. I've been here for six years, and before that, I was a PTI in the RAF. Oh? 
That explains a lot. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. All I'm saying is I don't think it should be so hard on her. You know what? Well, if Susan's only brought her kit in the once this term, don't you think you'd be better off trying to get to the bottom of why instead of telling her off in front of the other kids? Are you trying to tell me how to teach? Oh, no one could do that. Listen, corkers. Don't call me corkers again, OK? Abbo. Listen, Cork Hill. Like it to loathe it. I know teaching and how to handle these kids inside out, and you're making a big mistake if you think you can go putting your arms around them and get an old pally. Teachers, pupils, and a line in between. Stay on our side. Here's your change, love. Thanks. You have a nose as well. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Troll. <laughs> Just these, please, Jack. Don't you want any lemons? What for? Take the smile off your face. I'm up to it, anyway. Why, love? Money. Oh, you and the world over. <laughs> We're going to be really struggling soon. Mortgage is going up. Oh, is that not? Oh, flaming interest rates. Can't you ask Mick to give you some more hours in the chippy? When he's up to his eyes, isn't it? No. <laughs> Can't believe it. Twelve months ago, I was self-employed, everything was going fine. Now I'm back in the same position I was when I left school. Any job will do. Mm, got to think positive, haven't you? What's the point? Ron Dicko has 500 heart attacks, retires, then starts up another business, flogging the services of pensioners. Now it looks like he's going to end up in my old shop. Come on, love. I've heard all this from Jimmy, you know, but... Well, look the way he's managed to turn his life around. Yeah, but he had you behind him all the way, didn't he? Giving him a good kick up the butt when he needed it. Well, I can always give you a kick now and then if you want. I might start enjoying it. <laughs> Listen, between you and Tim, you can pay the bills, can't you, at least? Mm, will, Jack. But there's Christmas coming up and then there's Mandy and Ruth to consider. Well, don't go over the top buying presents. I mean, it's the thought that counts. It's not just that. I mean, there's the maintenance payments and all, isn't it? I mean, I can't have them going short. Mandy will understand if you have to cut back a bit, won't she? No way. My daughter is my responsibility, and I don't care what I have to do. She is never, ever going to go short, even if I have to sell me body again. <laughs> See you, love. <laughs> I thought you got lucky, then. <laughs> don't tell me. Ollie Simpson's paid up, and you ran all this way to give me the good news. No, but I have got some good news to give you. Take a look at that. RM has been picked to go to a training camp in Lanzarote. Oh, that's brilliant. Tell you what, that's going to cost us a few bob, isn't it? You do. Oh, no, where's my mum and dad? I'll see you later. Oh, yeah. What's the matter? Nothing. So, what are you doing here then? Well, we had a letter from the school this morning. I haven't done nothing, honest. Don't panic. The letter was off Mr. Abbott telling us how good you were. And he was always telling me. Yeah, but you never cracked on about this training camp, Lance Rossi, did you? It's only for me to count to training squad. Yeah, but Mr. Abbott thinks you can qualify. And in a few years' time, he reckons you could make the British team. I mean, that's brilliant, that, love. Isn't it, Greg? Yeah, it's great. You play the blinder there, babe. I know all this. Yeah, but we didn't, love. I mean, we knew you were good, but, I mean, the British team. I'm just so proud of you. Oh. I just didn't want you thinking it was a bit of a shower. We're going to go out now and get you that new coat you were on about. Honest? Yeah, but me and your mum want you training even harder. This is important now. Hi, love. Mm, you're full of the joys of spring. You're going to be up all nice again, are you? Nah. Uh, oh, what is it, then? This girl in school, you know, the one I went to coat to. Oh, she hasn't lost us, has she? No, but I nearly did. What? Lost it. With this PE teacher. Abbott, he's a right... Well, he was having a go at her because she forgot to bring her kit in. So? Well, the girl's got problems, love. And I had a go at him, wondering why he'd been so hard on her. I mean, you know, maybe there's a reason why she didn't bring her kit in, like, she might not have any. Maybe she's got it, but she doesn't want to do PE. Yeah, but why? I mean, it's a good chance to get out of class, isn't it? But if this Abbott fellow was anything like Ben Leach, you took us, I mean, you wouldn't want him seeing you, didn't you, PE kiss? <sighs> Jackie, what are you on about? Jimmy, I hated doing PE because the teacher kept watching us. You was all right, babe. <sighs> Come on, love. This is just your average mixed school. Yeah, but the girl might have her own reasons for not wanting to do PE in a gym kiss. Yeah, but you don't think he's... I don't think nothing. All I'm saying is she must have her reasons, mustn't she, for not bringing in a kiss? And the problem could be his and not his. Abbott might be touching her up. Well, I hate to say it, love, but unfortunately, that's the world we live in, isn't it? Oh, 
And because of Four's live coverage of the Booker Prize Awards, next Tuesday's Brookside will be at the later time of 9 o'clock. Next tonight, take a spin in Jaguar's new S-Type and find out just how safe those off-roaders really are in Driven.